Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to spin it on an island. So how's everybody? How's everybody going? You know, how's everybody doing? I'm going to put some P. Louise base on because I do like this. I do like this for a base because it just is very good and I do like it. So I'm just going to put my hair behind my hair. Because I can do that now, you know? I can do that. So that's one I do always do one at a time and I do one off camera so I want to do something with the Jeffree Star conspiracy palette I do and I don't know how I want to do this so what I'm going to do is going to take the shade I'm going to take the shade mm, I'm going to take the shade not a fact and put that into the outer portion of my eye but bring it up not I'm not putting it into my crease I'm bringing it above my crease so let's go called not a fat it's just a purple color i'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and i'm just doing that just see my crease is right in is right here like that so i'm just gonna bring it up above my crease because i just want to make sure it's to do like a big crease I'm just doing this lightly to make sure it's not in my crease, but it's above my crease. I'm just going to make it a little messy at first, but I'm, I'm the one that likes to build up colour. That's what I've got so far. Needs a some needs a different brush to do. So I'm going to use this brush to get the. I'm going to mix my pills and pigmented, so I can just put that and blend that. This is why I don't like doing a crease color because uh, a fake cut crease because my eyelids are not that my eye thing is not that big. Because it goes all the way to the brows and it's all right, but it's just it's just not my cup of tea. So I've just blended that. So that is nice and blended. I do like that the shades blend so well together. I do. So I'm just going to do a little bit more purple. Just to build up. Now I'm going to cut the crease and do a. Do I, yeah, I'm going to cut the crease because I feel like I need to cut the crease with this look. It looks a bit messy at first, but I think once it all comes together, it'll look good. So now I'm going to cut my crease using the PW's base again. I'm just going to put that. I'm going to go in with a color that I want to try. It's called What's the Tea? It's this blue color. Which looks pretty. Whoa, on what base size pigmented? This is different. Never done anything like this before. This is really different. It's just like something that's like that. So you can still see that when I open my eyes, I still see the blue. I'm just gonna use a little bit more blue. What's the tea? Is a beautiful colour. I've never used this colour before. And it's really pigmented. That is really pretty. It may not match, you know, but do you know what? I don't think I care about that. I'm just gonna go around and mix that again. Right, that looks stunning. That looks actually stunning. So I do want to darken it up just a tad. Um, I'm just going to go in with a brush like this and just go in with the black just to darken the outer corner a tad.
Oh, I'm going with the other colour just to. Don't lose any of the purple. I, I want to lose some of the purple, but I don't want to lose any of the purple. I don't know what I'm going to think of this look though. I don't know what I think of it. Yeah, I have no idea. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a night. I'm going to create my signature ring that I love doing, which I think I will really like. That is a really dramatic win. Why is it that dramatic? Bloody hell. So now I'm gonna do is go, so this is what I've got so far. It looks nice. It's, I don't know how I feel about it. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna add a touch of silver where it all goes. So I'm gonna use my brush. I'm gonna use a setting spray and use a brush like this. I'm gonna dip into the shade Dark Cola. And this is where it's gonna probably shine the best. I'm just gonna put it where the blue and the purple thingy So it is a bit of a tricky thing to do. Trust me, it does work. It's like having liquid liner. I'm just gonna fade that just slightly. I don't know what I think about this look yet. It looks nice. I don't know, it looks all right from what I'm doing. But I just wanna mess around with the colors. This is just a, probably just a mad way to mess around with colors, but you know what, I don't think I can. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go off camera and gonna do the other eye. Then I'm gonna apply some lashes. I'm gonna apply some mascara on lashes. Do my base and then come back to do the final look. Okay, guys, I've done my eyes, done my lashes. As you can see, I just put some highlighter on to my brow bone because it's not good. And I need to do my brushes as well. So I'm gonna take a brush. This is the JH the 42. I'm just gonna shove it in two colors, you know, and just pop it over there. Oh. That's bright. Nope, that is bright. <laughs> that is very bright. So I'm gonna show you how I do my brows. My brows are very simple, very good. I go with the brow styler. If you don't know, I love the brow styler. I've had it for since last year. Since it got this came out new last year. And I hate when YouTubers say they love a product and then never use a product. But you know, I love this product. I do want to try other products, you know, that I wanna try, but for now, this will do. My brows are not going to be good today just because, I don't know, I'm just like, you know, just need to go around with my brows and then get them. I want to get them microbladed because I feel like it's going to be so simple to microblade them just because, you know. They are, I won't have to trauma again. My brows are, my brows are literally cousins. Separate that breath. Like cousins, they're literally cousins. My brows are not sisters, they are flipping cousins. I don't know why, don't know how, but they are flipping cousins. Mm. You can use the, these uh, products with natural, Natural hair or not natural hair. As you see, I need to trim them because I need to. I'm gonna get these waxed in February, so that'll be good for me. Just get them waxed, you know. But then my brows. That's simple. It's simple. Oh yeah, to do your brows. That's all I do to my brows. That is it. They just they're just bold, fluffy, whatever you want to call it. Now it's time to contour and everything. So I'm. I'm I don't think I'm. I think I'm. Not gonna contour, I'm thinking of bronze. I'm gonna start off with caramel slice in the palette. So I've already bronzed with a cream contour, like I've already outlined the cream contour and I like it. So I'm just gonna use the Rachel Leary palette and use kind of some of this caramel slice to basically redefine them again. This is like a contour color because it's like a bit warm. It is a bit warm, but it's very much in the cool tone shade. As you can see, it's just very much just outlining the, the cheeks again. Now the bronze I'm gonna do is a little bit different. I'm normally going with, I think it's like Physicians Formulas one, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't feel like doing that today. As you can see, I'm just getting these cheekbones curved. And I'm just getting the warmth in them as well. Just getting 
caught. I didn't see. It's gonna, if it do go too harsh, then I just get a big brush. Uh, under my lip liner, line, all I took was my pills and pigment and put it underneath the eye. So it wasn't too bad. I'm just going to do a little bit of chin as well. Underneath my lip. These are the to make them pouty. I'm just going to contour my nose with the Hula Benefit, with the Hula from Benefit. I love doing, using this contour shade to do my nose. I love it. Now you always go underneath the little speed up underneath my brows and then I go down and then there we go that's one side and done I'm going to go underneath just to do a little bit of dimension underneath I'm going to use the same brush just then yet and I'm going to use the golden hour bronzer in here which I'm into I always used to be blush and then do this but do you know what I feel like doing this now because oh my god look at that it's just beautiful it's so beautiful to have like a bronzy kind of shimmery like you want that glow you need that glow oh, oh my god look at this like it's so perfect like I just go everywhere with this like and I don't use a light hand, I use quite a heavy hand because I want my face to have a little bit of colour in there as well. Holy shit. That is gorgeous. Now the blusher, I'm going to venture onto a new blusher. I'm going to use the sun-kissed one in here, it's a bit shimmery so I don't mind. So I'm just going to use the blusher in here. And it's called sun-kissed. And I just want it onto you know, the apples of my cheeks and everything. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, I like this. So pretty. This looks really pretty. So the highlight, I'm just going to use it from the same palette. So I've used all these four and get it and use get it popping. I love this shade. Um, I swear I'm going to hit pan this thing because I just keep using get it popping because it's just a beautiful shade. I'm just going to put it up to there, put it on the the brow bone a bit. Oh, that just looks beautiful. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use it onto the chin as well. Use a bit up to the brow bone. I'm going to use it on my nose as well. I'm going to just use it right there. I look like a tin man, but do you know what? Tin man's are the best. Take a bit. Take a, I take it up here as well. I don't know why I'm going to do that. I don't, I don't use, I don't put any there. Because it just looks really pretty if you don't put any there. I can't. So I can see. I look very different. I just look so different from what I am. So what I'm gonna do is set my face and then I'm gonna do everything else. I'm just gonna set my face. And I'm gonna fan my face. Don't say that, don't don't say don't. Cool, this is in MAC. Um I know I don't like I know MAC still tests on Anum uh is not quality free or vegan or anything. But I need to use the lip liner up because I do. I bought this lip liner. I bought this. This is in the shade Nice and Spicy. I bought this for a um, wedding. For my wedding, actually. Mm, God, this this is this is Mac by Nice and Spot. This is Mac, and it's in the shade Nice and Spicy. I think I've, I think I've used it. I don't think I've used it that much though, but I do like it. And I'm gonna put some Honey Love just on top. This is paler. I think it'll go. Oh, I like that. I like that quite a lot actually. I like that. It's Nice and Spicy lip liner with Honey and with Mac Honey Love. I actually like that. I might put a little bit of gloss on top just to gloss it up a bit. I'm going to use the Dose of Colours Can You Not, my favourite gloss in the hair guard. Oh my good grief. I like this look a lot. So guys, this is the finished look. Let me just sort out my hair. So guys, this is the finished look. I absolutely love it. I love the gloss. I love all the combination of the lips. I just love it. 
I do want the dark lips on the outside and new lighter lips on the inside. So guys, if you do like this look, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!